good morning good afternoon and good evening ladies and gentlemen from wherever you're watching my name is delvin wenani and today i want to take you through uh, the new grading system that has been proposed by the minister of education in conjunction with our our cs and these changes are supposed to take place from this year so ladies and gentlemen before we proceed remember to subscribe remember to follow remember to share remember to uh, comment so that we can reach as many people as possible otherwise i want us to break it down so that we understand what it entails and this one is for the parents for the students especially who are sitting for the exams this year and also for the teachers who are teaching these students so let us break down uh, this new grading system now previously we had a system that is coming to end this year and in that system the subjects were categorized in three groups so group number one which were having uh, their code starting with number one those were the compulsory one that is mathematics which is 121 english 101 and then kiswahili 102 those ones were the first compulsory subjects then we have another compulsory subject the group two one and this uh, the neck was taking only two subjects out of the three sciences that were there those are biology chemistry and physics um, all these subjects were starting with code number two as the group number two subjects but the neck was taking two subjects that is if you are taking physics chemistry and biology they pick the best two then we have another category those are what we call the electives the other electives and this is the group of technicals this is the group of humanities that have remained and therefore these ones now they were picking one from either humanities or one from another one from um technicals so one from technical one from humanity plus two subjects from the sciences that brings to four and then plus three subjects from the category one subjects that brings to seven and that's how they were used to, to be grading in previous uh, system now the new system the new system now is changing and this is the changes number one we have one compulsory subject that is mathematics then we have another one that's another compulsory but they pick one from kiswahili english or sign language they pick another one so that, that's those are two subjects so we have mathematics as a compulsory then between english kiswahili and sign language they pick one that brings to two subjects and then the other remaining ones they pick five from the other uh, best performing subjects so that means the sciences that is physics chemistry and biology plus the humanities plus the technicals they have been categorized as others and for those one subject that you are doing any subject that you are doing amongst them the sciences um, the technicals and the humanities they will only pick five best performing subjects from them so that means according to my own observation if you take a case study if you find a student who has maybe um these grades that i'm displaying here if that student has an english b plus kiswahili has a b minus mathematics has a c plus chemistry has a c biology has a c plus c area b minus history a b and agriculture a b minus so how is the system going to grade this student the system is going to pick one is going to pick the english because it, the student had a b plus in english so it was the best compared to kiswahili and kiswahili had a b minus so kiswahili shall be dropped in that case then mathematics is compulsory so mathematics shall be picked because whatever the grade uh, the student got the mathematics shall be picked chemistry the student has a c biology has a c plus cre has a b minus history has a b agriculture has a b minus but remember this student has only eight subjects 
And therefore, that means Kiswahili is the one that will be dropped. And if it's Kiswahili, because Kiswahili they are comparing it with English and sign language. So that means Kiswahili shall be dropped. And in that place, chemistry which has a lesser grade than Kiswahili shall be recorded. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't know um, what's your view, but my view is majority of these science subjects may be affected and in terms of their performance. So ladies and gentlemen, that one brings us to the end of that uh, discussion. Uh, remember to share your comment. We are still looking at, uh, we are still breaking it down. So we may not be right, but we are still saying comment with your comments. Give us your comments so that we can be able to know um, if you have understood it better, better than us. So ladies and gentlemen, that one brings us to the end of that. And therefore, remember to subscribe, remember to follow, share, so that the most more information comes in, we shall be able to be sharing together and we shall move on together. Be blessed and have a nice time. Be blessed.